and I say as of today at this hour, uh, we have 33 confirmed positive tests for the virus. Yesterday, yesterday we had 22 cases. Today we have 33 cases, so it has gone up by 11. Uh, uh, that brings, those are 11 new cases, uh, 22 goes to 33. As we sort through this here uh, in Arkansas, uh, today uh, I, we have 33 confirmed positive cases in Arkansas. Uh, as of today, we have 33 confirmed cases uh, with Boston residents. We expect those numbers to climb. As of this afternoon, we have 33 Pennsylvanians who have tested positive for COVID-19. Um, so as of this morning, there were 33 confer, uh, cases in North Carolina. Good evening to you. Lots to get to tonight. I'm Leon Hendricks. We want to start with new information into our newsroom. Within the past couple of hours, there are now 33 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Michigan. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Richard Gearhart. Karina Corral has the night off. More cases of the coronavirus were confirmed today in San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number now to 33. Right now, Georgia is reporting a total of 99 cases in 19 counties. That is 33 new cases from just yesterday. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Swenson. More cases and more events affected. Here is the latest coronavirus news. There are now 33 cases in Louisiana. As expected, the, as expected, the, the number of cases of COVID-19 jumps. A total of 33 people in our state have been tested and are confirmed to have the coronavirus. Day four of the shelter at home order brought six new confirmed cases of the coronavirus to San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number to 33. All troopers will be professional, polite, and we'll treat everyone with dignity and respect. These latest steps as the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Rhode Island jumps by 33 overnight. We have some stunning new numbers to share with you of new unemployment claims just made in the past week, Sagar. Yeah, that's right. So the unemployment claims just broke from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. 3.3 million unemployment claims just in the last week. Worst trading day in 33 years. And uh, that brings the total uh, right now actually to 33. And I say as of today at this hour, uh, we have 33 confirmed positive tests. As you can see, they love their numerology. And if it's not 33, then it's probably the number six. <laughs> like triple six, like triple bitch, ladies and gentlemen. But that's the route that we're on right now. Route 66. Route bitchy bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, moo cows. I mean, they are just playing you from A to Z. You got the predictive programming. They're laughing at you. It's not just that they're rolling out their pandemic and killing people. They're laughing at you the whole way. And, you know, people just want to sit home and just, you know, raise the chickens and hope for the best. And, you know, as the Bible says, faith without works is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody should get motivated. Every generation, every American generation has had to fight for freedom. This is no exception. And right now, the enemy is in the homeland. It's a siege it's happening in our backyards it's happening in our city streets it's happening in our communities in our towns everywhere you go every channel you turn on there's the ty tyranny there's the censorship there's the luciferian ideology non-stop ladies and gentlemen non-stop these people are out to get you and if they're non-stop we need to be non-stop and i say as of today at this hour uh we have 33 confirmed positive tests for the virus. Yesterday we had 22 cases. Today we have 33 cases. So it has gone up by 11. Uh, uh, that brings, those are 11 new cases. Uh, 22 goes to 33. As we sort through this here uh, in Arkansas, uh, today uh, I, we have 33 confirmed positive cases in Arkansas. 
Uh, as of today, we have 33 confirmed cases uh, with Boston residents. We expect those numbers to climb. As of this afternoon, we have 33 Pennsylvanians who have tested positive for COVID-19. Um, so as of this morning, there were 33 confirmed uh, cases in North Carolina. Good evening to you. Lots to get to tonight. I'm Leon Hendricks. We want to start with new information into our newsroom. Within the past couple of hours, there are now 33 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Michigan. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the news at six. I'm Richard Gearhart. Karina Corral has the night off. More cases of the coronavirus were confirmed today in San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number now to 33. Right now, Georgia is reporting a total of 99 cases in 19 counties. That is 33 new cases from just yesterday. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Swenson. More cases and more events affected. Here is the latest coronavirus news. There are now 33 cases in Louisiana. As expected. As expected. The, the number of cases of COVID-19 jumps. A total of 33 people in our state have been tested and are confirmed to have the coronavirus. So when they start scripting the numerology, you know that this is part of the deep state, Agenda 21, New World Order, Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove, Davos, Devils, Santa Claus, Satan Claus kind of thing going on out there so you know most of you should be super super awake by now 20 years after 9 11 and you know if anybody out there needs like a reminder what we've gone through as a country as a people over the last 20 years well you know this isn't 101 but look there is no question in anybody's mind right now that they've dosed the world. They've infected the world with their virus and they're trying to leverage this virus against people. Get your chip, get your papers, get your vaccine. Otherwise, you know, home confinement, home isolation, house arrest. And now, you know, in, in Melbourne, they're like, you know, they're sending, you know, the 5-0, the army door to door. And without a warrant, they can enter. If you're not home, you get like a $10,000 fine. You know, it's <laughs> it's getting crazy. And this is really just kind of like the beginning. 